Hello and welcome back. It's a beautiful garden day here today. It's a little bit overcast. Maybe it'll rain. It's already been raining a little bit, and uh, but we've got a lot to do. Uh, so we're going to see how much we can get done before the rain drives us indoors. So come along, we'll show you what we're up to. This is a flat that David planted not too long ago. On this side here you can see we have some beautiful looking bok choy that are just really ready to go out. They're so excited about life and they're ready for a new home where they can really spread out their roots. On this side over here we have some scotch bonnets, habaneros, I think, as far as I know they're the same thing. Um, and they would probably benefit from a new home as well. And then we can reuse this flat to plant something new. Here's the raised bed that David did not too long ago. He planted it a little bit. We have a tomato way down there in the corner. And over here, there are some peppers of some sort, and I can't remember what kind. But you can see in the between areas here are lots of little green little plants. And I had to ask David, what did you plant in there? And are they supposed to be there? And what's going on? Nope, they're all little papayas that came up from the compost. So, papaya's great, but not in this space and not this many. So we're gonna weed this bed out a little bit and we'll plant some bok choy. No, there's still a few weeds left, but honestly, my arms aren't long enough to get to the other side, and I didn't want to try and cram my way behind the, between the boulders here and the edge of the garden, but I don't even know if I can stretch my arms long enough to plant. I might have to recruit David to help me. So we'll see about that. <laughs> He's trying to get one thing done in one side of the garden, and I'm trying to get another thing done here, and the idea is that we can get twice as much done, but... If I have to get him to help me, that doesn't help much now, does it? Huh? Are you filming, I'm filming me? I'm filming you for the YouTube channel while you're filming for the YouTube channel. Oh, I'm this, sure that people will enjoy that. This is so made up. <laughs> a farmer friend, I wanted to show you, a farmer friend uh, said that when we get the bok choy out of the flats here, we should use something to kind of pry it out rather than doing the whole squeeze the bottom and tip it method which I noticed this flat in particular is so large it's kind of difficult so I was looking around for a good stick and David just handed me a screwdriver we'll see how well that works another thing I wanted to show you here now this is something that David does not do but I'm kind of uh I don't know what's a nice word methodical particular I don't know anyhow I'm going to use this as a planting guide he said plant them about a foot apart approximately I'm gonna guess that this stick is like roughly a foot apart I'm sure that you can um, with the amazingness of the internet you'll somebody out there will try to measure this against like Starbucks cups or something and tell me how how much of a foot this actually isn't but I'm gonna guess that this is approximately a foot so I'm gonna lay this out in between like okay here's one plant that's one of the pepper plants. Lay it out there. Now I've got my guide. Now I know I can stick a bok choy right about there and go down the line doing that. So let's get to work.
really like doing transplants because it's it's like an instant garden and probably my, one of my favorite parts about gardening is planting anyway so it's kind of like planting twice I like the hope that it it uh, it has about it the promise of things to come before anything can go bad in the garden <laughs> before the weeds take over or the pests destroy things there's always that hope at the beginning when you plant so I may or may not water this in because the rain may do it for me we'll wait and see that's all for me for right now we'll be doing some more gardening but you'll have to click on another video to see what we end up doing with the rest of today uh, until then I hope to see you over at the survivalgardener.com where David posts every day at least once sometimes sometimes more than once or here on the YouTube channel uh, and until next time may your thumbs always be green I went to see David David the good we listened to Portis head and drink spiced rum Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. David does not do this, but I'm kind of, uh, oh, hold on.